Hey, hey, good morning, good morning, it's Jackie. Hey guys, come on in, happy Saturday. It's Saturday again. It feels like time is just waste, just zipping by. So anyway, happy Saturday, everybody. Come on in. Oh, I need to get my lighter. Hold on, just one second. I need to get my lighter so we can burn some Palo Santo. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it. It was behind my laptop. <laughs> anyway, hold on. Let's get our day started with some Palo Santo. There, let's get our fire started. Let's get our burning going. How's everybody today? I hope everybody's awesome. I hope you're feeling good. Let me get this baby started. There, there, all righty. So, good morning, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Asking for healing, cleansing, clearing. Whatever it is that you need today, I'm asking that that would come to you in whatever way spirit decides is best for you. And you know what? It's funny is I have really... Good morning. Come on in. Good morning. We're just getting our fire started. <clears throat> come on in. Burning some Palo Santo. I'm asking for Creator to bring to us everything that we need today, whatever it is that we need, whether we know it or not. Because, you know, sometimes we don't even realize what we need. We think we need something, but really it's something totally different. Or it may show up in a different form, and at first we may not recognize it. So I'm asking that whatever it is that Spirit sends you, that you will take a look at it and be like, oh, what is this? And ask, is this what I wanted? Is this what I asked for? Is this what I asked for? Oh, well, maybe it is. And if it isn't in the same form that you thought, but it is the energy that you're asking for, then ask, okay, how can I receive this with more grace or ease? Or is this really what I want? So whatever, whatever's coming to you today, just trust it that it's from spirit. And then you can always ask again. So anyway, so let's go ahead and pull the runes. And let's see what the runes want to say to us today. And I hope you're doing awesome, calling in angels and energies, love and light, everything that you need. Mm. You know what I'm hearing? Fresh starts. I'm hearing fresh start. Okay, so everybody, we all need a fresh start. Every day is a new day. Every day is a fresh start. So let's go ahead and receive the fresh start and let's make it what what it wants to be today. All right, so looky what we got. Speaking of fresh starts, a white heart, a fresh start. Start every day with a grateful heart and let every day be a new beginning. Wash away everything that didn't work. Wash away everything that brought you pain, sorrow, make peace with it and let it go. And then the second stone we have is blue. It looks like Laramar, actually, for me. It looks like, kind of like a Laramar. So this is a, talking about bringing in soulmates, but since it's blue, it's talking about our throat chakra, speaking your peace with truth, love, and light. And, wow, you know what's interesting? This is the second time this rune came out. And it's up, is it upside down? Yes, it is. It's reversed. So this is Burkana. This is Burkana, but it's reversed from my, from the way I'm looking at it, it's reversed. So that means that maybe you're feeling anxious, you're feeling abandoned, you're feeling like there's a, a lack of control in your life, you're feeling anxious, abandoned, maybe there's been some deceit in your life that maybe you've been um, either not being truthful with yourself or others, or somebody else is not being truthful with you. So that's in the space. That is in the space because that's part of being in the reverse the position. And also feeling like a loss of control. Burkana. It's the letter B. Oh, gosh. Okay. So let's see. But let's, let's take a look at that. With the white heart, there's, again, every day is a new beginning. So you can always start fresh. You can always be honest. If there's something that's going on in your reality, that either you maybe weren't completely honest about something, today is the day to make it right. There's always a new opportunity to make things right. 
and why not take it? Because you don't want things to linger in your energy. And if you're dealing with someone that you feel maybe they weren't honest with you about something, if it feels right to do so, speak your truth about it. Speak your truth and say, hey, you know what? There's something in my gut that says that there's something off here. And, and I just, I'm asking you, like, is there something else we need to talk about that I don't know? Just really but get clear and get honest and get, I think, clear. You know, let yourself have a white heart. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a new beginning. Every day, we have the opportunity to start again. And so don't let the stuff from yesterday carry over into today. We don't, if it doesn't serve you or if there's some place where uh, you weren't living up to your highest and best, you can always change that. Okay, so on the first cut, we've got a three of coins. We've got the king of swords. Or no, excuse me, the knight of swords. So actually you may be receiving a message, communication, and be honest and on communication. Could be from the king of wands reversed. And again, three of coin again, but this time he's reversed. So let's see what the cards want to say. So spirit, what do you want to show the collective in the cards today? What do we need to know today? What's the best, most important, clear, concise message that we need to hear? And help me to please interpret the cards to the best of your intentions. Spirit, what does the collective need to know or hear or see today? What do we need to know, hear, or see? Please and thank you, Spirit. This is for the collective. If you want a private reading, of course, you can always reach out for a private reading. We start at $30 for 30 minutes and come on forward. And we would be either on, on a video, live. That way you can see and feel the energy. And I can feel your energy. And then we can do healing if necessary afterwards. But that would be an extended session. Let's see. I feel like, oh, this came out. Seven of Cups. So someone has options. There's options, or it could also be daydreaming, delusion. Oh, wait. And the Seven of Swords. So the first story out is somebody's lying, or they were untruthful about the options that they had. Interesting. Okay, wait. Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, two sevens on the table, and the Empress reversed. So somewhere, something wasn't fertile. Something didn't take off. The Empress Reverse is feeling insecure. Or it could, act, you know, of course, there could be a loss of a baby, but that doesn't feel like it's the case right now. But there's something about a Seven of Cups, which is off, um, lots of options, and also having delusions or overwhelm, confusion, too many options. See, she's looking and she's in the middle of all these cups she could choose from. She's not sure. But this talks about some uh, deceit, actually. This is a repeat of the Burkana reverse. There's some sort of deceit going on or outright lying or subtle deception. Could be deception with herself, yourself, about something not working. Maybe you're not trying, maybe you're not being honest with yourself about something not working because something is not working. This Empress reversed implies that there's a, no growth in something. And there's also a new message, a truth, communication. So that's, it feels like that's a side story, but hold on. The Eight of Cups. Okay, so look, the Eight of Cups reversed. So either somebody is coming back from the past. That's too many. Somebody wants to come back from the past or you're not walking away and you need to walk away. So if this is your story, if this is your story that you're not being honest about something, about either your, your options, your delusions, your dreams, if you have hopes in something, but and you or you're overwhelmed with choices you're not being honest with yourself about something or one of these options is not being honest with you 
and there's something not going. There's not any growth because the, the Empress is about fertility and growth and feeling insecure. If she's reversed, there's no forward momentum. There's no growth in this situation. There's no, there's no growth. There's like, uh, there's no fertility. I hear something. I'm, I'm pausing because I'm hearing something. something about somebody's off somebody's trying to offer you something but it's not true there's an untruth in this offer and it's not going to go anywhere that's that's interesting it's a real sly energy that's like there's somebody's trying to portray something that's not true but it's causing you to believe it's an offer. But it's not going to go anywhere. Um, so this actually could be, it feels, you know what it feels like? It feels like um, somebody that's interviewing for jobs. This, in this moment, in this 10 seconds, what I'm feeling is that one of these job offers are, is not really legit. But you're thinking it's a real career source or income source, and it's not. It's not gonna, it's not gonna give you what you need. It's there's a dead end. That's what I'm hearing. That's that's a very 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 side story that just kind of was on the back of my mind. I had to say it. But anyway, so um, there will be information coming towards you today, a communication, some e either somebody coming back to you from the past. So I'm, I'm gonna scrub that story because that feels like it's like a so out-of-the-box story. So I'm going to start again. So Spirit, thank you for that. Thank you for that. And what is the collective need to see, hear, feel, know about today? What is for our highest and best? What is for our highest and best? Please and thank you. What's for our highest and best? Please and thank you. What's for our highest and best? Please and thank you. cards want to show. Spirit, what do you want to say through these cards for our highest and best? What do we need to know today, please? Two of Wands. Okay, so you're going to have a choice to make. Two different paths. You're going to have to choose a path. The Wheel of Fortune. Right on. So your fortune will be changing. Things are going to be getting better. Looking up. Um, and but you have to make a choice. You have to choose something. You're on two different. You're at a crossroads. Two. Of, this is important. Okay, so hold on. Um, you're at a crossroads right now, and so you really need to make a choice. You have to ask, tap into your inner wisdom and guidance, because it doesn't. It matters. Okay, so. It matters what you choose because it's going to impact the experiences you have in life. But, and, you can't get it wrong, right? So unless it's, of course, if it's a, you have to always ask your higher self, which is the best choice for my life on, on the planet. Like, what do I want to experience? What is the best use of my life, my, my gifts, everything? But um, you can't get it wrong is what I'm trying to say. As long as you choose for your your highest and best and the highest and best of others, you can't get it wrong. So, but you do have a choice to make. And the Wheel of Fortune is coming in your favor. But you know what else popped out is the Hierophant reversed. So the Hierophant reversed talks about not being committing, committing not being committal, maybe getting a divorce, or coming out of religious thinking, coming out of Religious thinking as in very oppressive religious thinking, very rigid. So what else do we need to know? Please and thank you. Oh, it could be a hair font, it's a Taurus. So maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, 
but it's talking about you making a choice, being at a crossroads, that the Wheel of Fortune is in your favor. Okay, go ahead. What's the next message, please, Spirit, for these, for this story? Ooh, Ace of Wands. Okay, so you know what I'm hearing? The Ace of Wands is follow the wand, and this could also be, this could very well be a sexual energy, but follow your passion. The Ace of Wands is your passion, your free expression, your creativity, those things that really light you up inside. So I feel like, um, I feel like if you're at a crossroads right now, follow your passion. What lights you up? Do what makes you happy. Do what makes you happy, really. What really stirs up your heart space? Oh, wow. And if you've been, if you've been, um, the three of swords is about heartbreak. But it's reversed. So try to let go of the heartbreak. And the new passion will actually help you. Oh, there's somebody that jumped out. Um, that the new passion project will help you come out of your heartbreak. Oh, look, and there's the sun. Oh, wow. The sun, that's beautiful. Follow the sunshine, follow the passion. That's a beautiful read, guys. Let me back you up a bit. Um, what else is here? So what is the, what is the, why is the hermit reversed here, spirit? What does that mean? Oh, okay, the hermit reversed. You may have actually come out of a divorce and it may have been a financial struggle. But if you allow yourself to tap into your creative spirit, following your passions, your creative spark, things that bring you happiness and joy, um, it feels like there's going to be a turnaround. The wheel of fortune is on your side. Just you have to let go. Really, you have to let go of the heartache. You have to be willing to let go of the heartache of the past. And don't focus on it. If you can't let go right now, try to not focus on it at least, at least. Try to give something else your attention. Six of coin reversed. Okay, so it looks like there was some inequality and that's what caused you to have a heartbreak. So now focus on things that are reciprocal. Only focus on those things that give back energy too. Don't, don't just let yourself be depleted. Make sure that you give and receive. It's important, especially if this is a relationship or in anything. You have to give and receive, like in life. If it's a passion project, you can't only work. You have to actually receive payment for your work. On the Queen of Cups, okay, so yeah. Okay, look. You were, it's asking you to come out of the heartbreak because this unequal give and take caused you to be out of balance emotionally. You have to really allow yourself to let go of the heartbreak and get back into balance. Follow the sun. It's really important. Follow the sun. Allow yourself to receive and give and receive and give. So it's about equal give and take. And my, the knight, the knight of swords. So I think you may actually be um, hearing from a knight of swords. Could be an air sign. Could be an invitation to go out because it landed on the on the knight of or the ace of rods. No, wait a minute. But now the ace of coin came out reversed. Why is this reversed? Why is this reversed, please? Why is this ace of cups reversed? Oh, so someone's juggling. Someone has to make a choice. They're not juggling. It doesn't have to be a juggle. It doesn't have to be a player, but somebody may be trying to get your attention. Okay, so this is part of it too. If you're dealing with other people that are not giving you equal give and take, please just walk away. Really, if, if there's something, yeah, because something was too heavy. So this is still an echo from the past. This is an echo from the past. You have to let go of any and all heavy, dense energy related to the losses of your past. Whether it was financial loss, heartbreak, all of that. You have to let it go because these burdens are heavy and they're still in your energy. So really, you have to, you have to 
take some time, especially because you're at a crossroads right now, okay? Collective, you have to take some time before you take the next step. You have to clear up all this heartbreak energy. You have to, it's it, because you're gonna only create more. If you step forward in that heaviness of broken heart, loss of love, unequal give and take, you're gonna be imbalanced. You're gonna be out of balance. You have to be balanced before you take that next step. Wow, and this is really coming back to the rune. The rune, remember, said anxious, anxiety. You're in the energy of anxiety. You're in the energy of, oh, phooey. Hold on. The rune is talking about deception, abandonment, loss of control, anxiety. That came out reversed. So it's also coming out in your cards. You have to get right in that. You have to clear all those energies of abandonment, distrust, feeling like you're anxious about your future, you're anxious about love, you're anxious about living. It's time to clear those things because you are at a crossroad. And it's really important to clear that energy away out of your, not, not away, we're not pushing anything away, we're embracing what is there and making peace with it. So when I say get clear, it means what I'm saying is make peace with the past. Make peace with the things that didn't work. Make peace with the things that weren't in alignment. They were heavy burdens. Make peace with them. And uh, forgive them. Let them go. Forgive yourself and let it go. Anywhere where you were financially at a loss or you're, you're worried about finances or relationships or jobs or you know maybe your business went under because of covid god whose business didn't go under really i mean unless you're big corporate america but but a lot of people that i know they have small businesses that did not make this covid they didn't make it because everything was shut down so the, if this is you and i mean me too you know a lot of my clients dried up with the covid because everybody lost their money so it was scary, and it's really hard to push through those things. Emotionally, it's scary. It, it leaves kind of like a scar and a fear in your energy field. A fear of not being uh, stable, not being stable. So please, we got to make peace with those energies. And we have to say, okay, that happened, and that wasn't a great experience, but what can I learn from this experience? What can I learn about myself? What can I learn about my responsibility in this? And, and don't get, don't take it personally. Don't let this hurt your feelings. But in every area of our life, we have an element of personal responsibility. And it's time to really be like, okay, what did I do to maybe continue this longer than I could have? I could have maybe stopped it. I could have maybe listened to my intuition. And not to beat yourself up. But to be like, what can I learn? How can I learn to listen to myself more, to my, my intuition, to the signs? How can I listen to my guidance more? What can I do differently next time or to prepare for this to, in case it happens again? How can I be more prepared? How can I be more financially stable or solid? What can I do differently? How can I prepare my heart for the next relationship? How can I make sure that I don't jump into a codependent relationship or the tendencies in my heart? Or maybe maybe there's some different element. What other elements in your realities are showing up because they want healed? And they, they were heavy burdens. But if there's any element in you that's kind of still attracting same types of things, people, situations, they're coming to you to be healed. Not to beat you up, but to bring healing and resolution to those parts that keep creating the not so great experiences. So, so let's do this together. Let's do this together. All the parts of you that you need to look at, you got to just be honest with yourself. Because if you're not honest with yourself, you're only lying to yourself, really. I mean... 
because we all have our own stories that we tell and whether we realize it or not they are broadcasted all the time so please be honest with yourself and get clearing and healing of the parts that need attention so that way we can create new things so and my lighter's not working sorry anyway so take this time to really get clear on what you want hi Take this time to get clear. Good morning, Bonita. Como estas? Because you're at a crossroads. You're at a crossroads right now. And the wheel of fortune is on your side. It's just you have to really get clear, first of all, about what you want. Because look, she has... Oh, that was the first story. You have to get clear about what you want. And then you have to really be honest with what yourself, with what you're creating now, what's not working, and let go of any heartbreak energy. Let go of the heartbreak, let go of the energy that was from the past that felt out of alignment or a lack of give and take or financial loss or whatever is still heavy from the past. Clear all that and focus on your passions and focus on what brings you joy the, the ace of wands and the sun. Focus on what brings you joy. Focus on your creative energies, your creative spark. And focus on that, not what didn't work. Get clear, release the past, release what didn't work. Bring healing to yourself, to the parts that still need healing, or just, you know, that they're discouraged or they're afraid to move forward. Love those parts. Love them, love them, love them. Walk with them hand in hand and focus on the things that bring you joy. Maybe it's your painting, maybe it's your dance, maybe it's your writing, maybe you're an author, you're a painter. Uh, what, whatever brings you joy, focus on that and focus on the sun. And in my opinion, the sun is the everlasting sunshine of God. The sun shines on all of us. It wants good things for all of us. So focus on the beauty and the joy of creator and know that you're being watched you're you're being watched over and you're being guided and you're being loved and supported so focus on those things and let go of anything that doesn't match those energies and that's yeah that's a beautiful promise right and today another today is a new day for a fresh start so let go of the past Make peace with the past. Again, make peace with the past. Make peace with yourself and others. Speak truth to yourself. Speak truth to others. This is for your throat chakra. And uh, just walk in the sunshine. Because you deserve the most beautiful things in life. You deserve it because you are. Because you're alive. Because you're in the body. And yeah. So as long as you're in the body, alive, breathing... You deserve every good gift from the creator, from source. And so it is. And so it is. Alrighty, guys. That's it for today. Many blessings. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Sending you much love and light. And have a beautiful day. Bye. You take care.